What's up guys, it's Corey with Inspect the Gadget and today is another installment of Inspect the Tech News, so let's get inspecting. Alright guys, so although Democrats have been demanding Mitt Romney release all of his tax returns, they're not what Mitt Romney have to worry about. A group of hackers has tried to extort a million dollars from Mitt Romney by hacking into PricewaterhouseCoopers accounting firm's computers to get Mitt Romney's tax returns. Now, they've threatened to go public with the tax returns if Mitt Romney doesn't fork over the money. Now, PwC has denied that it ever occurred and said that the hackers' poorly written notes suggest that they're not dealing with any criminal masterminds. Of course, the Secret Service is on the job. In other news, Motoko, the developer who brought us the camera app, uh, for the Nexus 7 says that a very well placed insider reports that three, a 3G version of the Nexus 7 is in the works and will be released in about six weeks. Now why he said 3G and not 4G I have no idea but obviously 4G would be much better so hopefully it's just a rumor and Google is actually releasing a 4G version. So apparently this is going to be available in six weeks so check out the Mashable article below. So guys, now, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act of 1998 is a law that requires sites like YouTube to promptly respond to accusations of copyright infringement. Now, because of this law, YouTube has bots that immediately take down any videos that have a copyright claim against them. Now, this caused a Democratic National Convention video on YouTube to be temporarily taken down after an erroneous copyright infringement claim. Now, both YouTube and the Democratic Party have been working diligently to resolve it. Thanks to the guys over at The Verge, all is right within the tech world. Now, Nokia has released a new ad for its PureView camera featured on the Lumia 920, highlighting its image stabilization technology. Now, normally when companies know the images of features they're demonstrating aren't quite honest, they usually have a disclaimer stating something like screen images simulated or something like that. So, Nokia, however, failed to do this, showing a split screen of an unstabilized video on the left and purportedly a pure view stabilized version on the right using Nokia's optical image stabilization technology. Unfortunately, that was all BS and the ad was fake. The guys over at The Verge have uncovered a reflection in the window of the trailer in the background of a big white van with a lighting rig and a cameraman standing in the doorway with what appears to be a large camera rig. However, to Nokia's credit, after The Verge's article, it issued a formal apology and a new video meant to demonstrate the actual optical image stabilization on its Lumia 920. Now, this is so laughable, guys. I mean, it's not that hard. Why can't companies just make great great products instead of lying to its consumers about them. Anyway guys, get your fix in the link down below to see this ridiculous slip up by Nokia. Okay guys, so this next story is just ridiculous. A robotic startup company is putting an iPad on a Segway-like roller and selling it for 2500 bucks. So if you want to get your iPad robot fixed, go ahead and shell out $2500 for Double Robotics namesake called Double. Now, Double's creators envisioned a device being used instead of calling or Skyping in situations where a coworker is absent for a meeting, but can still be pseudo-present with their iPad mounted on their Segway-like roller. Now, its founder says the device weighs about 15 pounds and can charge in about two hours, and each charge lasts about eight hours. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This just sounds creepy. I mean, I'd take an actual robot over an iPad mounted on a Segway device, I mean, a Segway roller. I mean, it's just crazy. And uh, what about situations where it may need to climb stairs? I guess they didn't think about that one. Guys, let me know what you think about the iPad Double. Uh, would you buy it? If so, you can pre-order it for $2,000. A link to the original article is down below. Now, how would you like it if you had wireless access to all your files or had a subdermal navigation system or you could control the temperature of your house simply with a thought? Now, these are just a few of the things transhumanist body hackers want to accomplish in the near future. An article recently published by Wired Magazine goes into detail about what body hackers and transhumanists envision for our future. With products like Google Glass and companies working on contact lenses that do the same, we're nearing the nexus of humanity as we know it and are on the precipice of transhumanism. So what if you could replace faulty organs with a new one that works better and lasts longer? You know, what if you had eyes that could see farther or 
could communicate brain to brain with others. So post a comment below about how you feel about transhumanism and if you'd be willing to make yourself harder, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> Hit the link below for the original article. Again, I'm Corey with Inspect the Gadget, guys. This has been Inspect the Tech News. And uh, hit me up on Twitter, at Inspect the Gadget. You can also circle me on Google Plus, at Inspect the Gadget. And again, I'll see you on the other side. Peace.